What's up guys, hope you're all having a fantastic day. As you can see from this release schedule, it's officially happening. SSJ4 Full Power Goku is slated to be released on Global on November 20th at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, or literally tomorrow at reset. And I know a lot of you have been waiting very, very anxiously for this guy to drop, and you guys are extremely hyped about this unit. So in this video, we're gonna go over the unit itself to see exactly what he can do, take a quick look at the potential banner on Global based on what it looked like on JP, and also do a brief overview of the brand new category that he's bringing over to Global, the full power category, so that you guys can see for yourselves whether or not you have the appropriate units to run this team. And of course, by the end of this video, my hope is that you guys will have a bit of a better idea about whether or not you want to spend your hard earned stones to try and summon for this guy, or maybe you'd rather save them for a future celebration or unit or banner that you're more hyped about. Now of course I will be giving you guys my personal opinions as well as a few recommendations about what I think you should do, but at the end of the day the ultimate decision is up to you, so without further ado, let's jump right into it starting with the unit himself, and we're actually going to pop over to the Dokkan Wiki, which has all the information that we'll need about him. Let's start with his name, Hope Filled Strike, Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Goku. Okay, as a side note, I don't really know why the name is like that. It makes no sense to me. Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Goku. Why is it not Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku? I really hope that's not the official name when it comes to global. <laughs> What I think it is, is just the literal translation from Japanese to English, and they'll fix it when the card drops on Global, but I guess we'll have to see. It doesn't really matter as far as the card goes, but it does bother me. I don't, I don't really get it. But anyways, we're going to move on to the leader skill now. Uh, like I said, he is the full power category leader, giving them key plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. In addition, he's also a super tech leader, giving super tech units key plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 90%. So the good thing about his leader skill is that if you don't have all the units to run a complete full power category team, you can still throw some super tech units in there and they can still do very, very well. There are some really, really strong super tech units out there, of course, like SSJ3 Angel Goku or Vegito Blue and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's a really great addition to his leader skill. Let's move on to our super attack, Dragon Fist. It looks awesome, by the way. The animation is absolutely amazing. Causes immense damage to the enemy and massively lowers defense, pretty standard. Moving on to his passive, Culmination, he'll get 100% attack initially, and he'll also raise his attack and defense by up to 70% based on the amount of HP you have remaining. So essentially, when your team is at 100% HP, full health, this guy will be at his full power, and he'll have 170% attack as well as 70% defense. So in that case, he'll be hitting very, very hard as well as doing a bit of tanking. He's not going to be the best tank, but he will be able to tank a good amount of damage. And in addition, he has a medium chance to evade the enemy super attack and counter with tremendous power, which is an extremely good mechanic that the original SSJ4 Goku had as well as SSJ for Vegeta. So great passive skill right there. And for his links, really good links, of course. Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepare for Battle, Shocking Speed, the Saiyan Lineage, GT, and Fierce Battle. I believe he has the exact same link set as the SDR SSJ for Goku, but I could be wrong. If not, it's very, very similar. There might be like one or two links off, but really, really similar links, which means really good links. As for his categories, He's in the Shadow Dragon Saga, which was huge when he first came out in JP because there wasn't a top tier unit added to that category for the longest time until this guy was released. So I'm excited to get him, especially or mainly because I really, really want to buff my Shadow Dragon Saga team. If you guys have been watching me for any period of time, you know that Shadow Dragon Saga is one of my favorite categories in the game. So yeah, that's extra exciting for me. And if you guys are fans of that category as well, then you know, congratulations, because we're getting a very, very good unit for that category, if you can pull him, of course. <laughs> he also has pure Saiyans and full power. Full power, of course, is his own category. Moving on to his stats, these are the max stats. Um, they are definitely higher than SDR SSJ for Goku, of course. I keep bringing up the SDR one because a lot of people are going to be comparing this new one to that one. And of course, this guy is better. At uh, max potential, I believe he has about... 500 to 600 more attack and the other skill or the other stats are gonna be higher as well. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. Don't get me wrong, STR SSJ4 Goku is still an amazing unit in his own right, but this guy is the update to him, so of course he is going to be better. 
As far as the details that I missed, his 12k multiplier is 150%, tremendous power multiplier is 300%, which is on his counters, counter attacks can be critical hits from the hidden potential system, medium chance in passive skill for countering enemy super attacks is 30%, and massively lowers defense is equal to enemy's defense minus 80% for 3 turns. So that is abs that is huge. Oh my god. Okay, so I believe that's on his super attack. So I was totally wrong when I said his super attack is standard. Because I thought that was a greatly lowers defense. But massively lowers his 80% debuff to the enemy's defense. Which is huge. And this means that after he supers the enemy once. The next turn he comes back he's going to do even more damage. Because the enemy is going to have 80% less defense. So that's freaking awesome but there's the unit for you guys i totally missed that super attack part so i'm sorry if i misled you guys in the beginning but that is a great super attack right there um his leader skill is great his super attack is great he's a really good passive that allows him to hit very hard and do some tanking as well and the counters are amazing too for anyone that's used ssj4 goku or ssj4 vegeta you know how clutch those counters can be he has a great link set he has great categories of course he also brings in one of the best categories in the game the full power category and he has great stats. Overall, just a really, really strong unit. So you can't really fault anybody for summoning for him. I can't fault any of you guys for wanting to summon for him because he's just absolutely fantastic. All right, so we know the unit is great. Let's move on to now the potential banner we can expect to see him on. <laughs> and this was the banner that dropped on JP. As you can see, um, there's some new units on there that we haven't really seen before on global because they're brand new this is a banner that brings quite a few new units to the game i'm gonna scroll down here and here they are so we have ssj4 full power goku here of course he is the main prize everybody wants him but aside from that we have three new units in this gt goku in this incel and also this physical frieza and i gotta say all three of these new units the goku the cell and the frieza are actually very powerful units as well they they are really good subs for their respective teams. Now, now I know no one's going to be super hyped about pulling them, but they're nice to have in there because they're actually strong units that you can pull aside from the main prize, of course, which is this guy. And aside from that, they also had physical Omega Shenron, which in my opinion is still one of the best units in this game. He hits so, so hard. He can attack twice every single turn. He can super up to three times in a turn. Uh, I'm a big fan. Honestly, I don't want to pull any more of him because I have so many copies of him that I can rainbow two copies. But if you guys don't have him, then he'll be a real treat for you to pull and you guys will really enjoy using him. Aside from that, there is SSJ4 Gogeta, who is a, still an amazing unit. He's a little bit older, but still really, really strong. SSJ4 Vegeta, of course, as well, is a little bit older too. Actually, even older than SSJ4 Gogeta, but he's still a very strong unit for Super AGL, for Pure Saiyans, for... Um, any category team that he can fit in, Shadow Dragons of course, so if you don't have him then you'll definitely want him and we don't really care about this uh, this Sin Shenron, his only real use is to power up the super attack of this guy so it's good to have him in there I guess if you need to farm the super attack of the physical Mega Shenron but this is the overall banner, I don't really expect to see any changes really and it doesn't really need any changes on global because this is a fantastic banner guys, like what can I say, there's one, two, three, three category leads, three new units in this Frieza, this Cell, and this Goku that are all really strong. Um, we have a 120 lead here, which is awesome, and one SR. Usually, some these banners will have at least like two or three SRs, at least from past experience. I'm pretty sure there's multiple SRs usually, but this banner only had one SR, and uh, the rates are quite solid. So overall. Great banner, very strong units. Of course, I know some of you that have been playing for a long time are not going to need any more Omega Shenrons or SJ4 Gogetas or SJ4 Vegetas, but if you are a bit of a newer player or you're not much of a whale or a free-to-play player, really, I mean, if you are a free-to-play player, that is, you might still need dupes for all these guys, and they're all top, top-tier units, so it's a great banner. It's a really, really good banner. I can't say anything bad about this banner. Like, I couldn't say anything about, bad about the unit, this banner is fantastic, so uh, it's, it's, it's like a 9 out of 10, like a 9.5 out of 10, very, very good value on this banner, and like I said, I expect it to remain the same on Global once it drops here. So there's the banner for you guys, last but not least, we're going to jump over to the category, the full power category, I don't know why they sorted it like this, they had all the SSRs on the top, and then, you know, the stronger units on the bottom, but... Either way, as you guys can see, there are a lot of great units in this category. Of course, he's the leader here. 
and this is the new i believe this is the yeah this is a new gt goku that uh is gonna come on the banner with him and aside from that, yo, LR, Goku, and Frieza, the hardest hitting card in this entire game is in this category. SSB, Vegeta as well is up there. Um, we have this Transforming Goku, Transforming Frieza, Android 21 as well. LR Broly is, is, is over here. Uh, who else do we have? Who else do we have? Yo, SS, SSJ3 Goku, LR, SSJ3 Goku. We have LR Bojack. Um, a very, very powerful category. I don't, I don't know what else to say, guys. <laughs> uh, I believe LR Gohan is... Yep, there we go. LR Gohan is up here. This guy is a great support unit as well. And what else do we have? I'm probably missing a few in here that I should be talking about. Oh, of course, this SSJ3 Goku is freaking bomb. Uh, he will be really strong when he gets his EZA on Global, which I expect to come... You know, in the near future. Uh, this guy with his Extreme Z Awakening is super strong as well. Uh, Omega Shenron, of course. How can I miss him? Kefla too. Yo, this category is extremely, extremely powerful. And if you guys have the units to run it, ah, man, it's going to be hard to skip this unit because it's a great category. I believe it's top three as far as damage output goes for categories. I don't know if it's number one. Um, I have to take a look at the list again, which I haven't seen in a while. But I believe it is one of the hardest hitting categories in this entire game, especially if you have the right units for it. And uh, there's the category, guys. Full power category. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, we're going to go back to the front page where we came. And now it's time for me to, I guess, talk about my opinions. Because we went over the unit itself. We know it's a great unit. We went over the banner. We know it's going to be a fantastic banner. And we went over the category, which is also very, very powerful. Now, <sighs> I mean, what can I say? If you guys want to summon for this guy, you want to summon on the banner, no one's going to say it's a bad idea. Honestly, I don't think anybody's going to tell you that you are making a mistake by summoning on this banner because of how good the unit is, because of the category, because of the banner too. Just so much value in this one banner. It is, it's, it's probably the best banner that has come to Global since the three-year anniversary, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I, I think this might be the best banner we've seen since that celebration. And it's it's just it's really good, man. You guys like if you really want to summon, you should summon. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm gonna just talk a little bit about the future now, right? We have many things coming in the next couple of months, even the next couple of weeks for global. We have the um, Christmas celebration, which is guaranteed. We know that there is going to be a Christmas celebration because Christmas is a thing every single year, and Christmas is always good value because they have a banner where they have a lot of very strong top tier units like UI Goku or um, maybe SSB Vegeta, possibly a lot of category leads, all those things, as well as a separate ticket banner where we'll get tickets from the initial banner and they can use those tickets on a separate banner to have, G I believe the ba sticker banner is also GSSR, at least it was last year, and you can also get Kai's for it, or Santa Roshi, so there's a lot of value in that kind of celebration overall for Christmas. Uh, we also have the movie Broly celebration coming up soon, within the next couple of weeks, because I believe the movie, the Broly movie already came out in Japan, I think it already came out in Japan from what I've heard, and or at least there was like an early screening, that's why everybody knows what the plot is now, and it's coming out soon in North America as well, and it's going to be a huge celebration on both versions of the game for both JP and Global when that comes. And there's going to be a brand new Broly. There's going to possibly be a brand new Gogeta. At least that's what people are speculating. Um, it could be like a dual Dokkan Fest. And that would be huge as well. So it really depends, man. Like, what are you more excited about? Are you more excited about having this guy right now as J4 Full Power Goku? Or are you more excited about this future upcoming Broly and Gogeta and Christmas celebration and all those things? And if, you know, it's really up to you. You have to make that decision for yourselves. But for me personally, man, I think that this... It's, it's got to be a banner that you don't spend a lot of spent stones on. That's my opinion. That's what I would recommend. I would recommend if you really summon on it, spend like 100 stones, 150 stones max, 2-3 multis, and call it a day. Save the rest of your stones for the stuff that's coming up because I think there's going to be even more value in those. Those are going to be even more hype. Those units are going to be even stronger because this guy came out on JP like, I don't know, six months ago or something like that. I, I don't know the exact timing, but it, it's been a while since he was on JP. So he, in the grand scheme of things, he is a bit of an older unit, while the Broly and the Gogeta are gonna be brand new units on both versions of the game. So they're gonna be even more OP than this guy is, or this guy was. And yeah, so that, that's my recommendation. I would say either skip this completely, 
or just do a few multis and call it and then save for the Broly and the Gogeta and Christmas. Under any other circumstance, if it was any other time of the year, I would say go all in, go balls deep for this guy because th there's so much value in his banner. He's so good, his category is so good. But given the time of year, given what's coming up next, I would say either a complete skip or a few multis. And that's my opinion. Of course, like I said, you guys can do whatever the F you want to do. The ultimate decision is up to you, but this is what I feel, man. I feel like there's just so much stuff coming up that you're going to regret it if you spend all your stones on this guy's banner and have nothing left for Broly and Christmas and things like that. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's my opinion. Um, that's pretty much going to do with the video. I did everything I or I said everything I wanted to say, and I hope this helped you guys just a little bit at least make that decision about whether or not you want to summon for SSJ4 full power Goku when he drops tomorrow. And if you are summoning, then best of luck to you. Let me know in the comments down below whether or not you plan to summon or you're going to save for Broly and the celebration or maybe even or Christmas celebration or maybe even four years, four year on global, which will be in like July or something like that. But you know, some people like to save in advance like that. By the way, guys, that's my opinion. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all from me. Hope you all have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.